M0FXB. I'm going to give it a go creating two channels for my RT3S dual band radio and we're going to do it from scratch because um, I think this is the best way to learn how DMR works. So I've just loaded up this program you can find it um, on Google it's basically the RT3S CPS which is the RT3S is a dual band DMR radio analog and FM so you can add all your local repeaters, simplex channels, but you can also add in all the DMR talk groups depending on which um, server you like, Brandmeister, Phoenix, or uh, another one, TJF. So, the basics of DMR is that the numbers are like phone numbers and the numbers are essential to how it works. So your number, your DMR number is almost like a phone number. Numbers like TG91, TG9, and things like that, that is that is a, they are group numbers, so you use your number to join a group and this software joins that together and puts it into the radio. So, the first setting is, is your general setting is you put in your DMR number here, as you can see it just says 1234. Then you put in your call sign, M0, let's go GGG for now. That's really, without that the radio won't even work. Everything else is fine, so you can close that down. Then you go into your uh, your zone your zones. So let's do one zone for uh, digital digital zones. Yeah. Did sorry I can't spell digital zones. Okay, so you've got that zone. Then let's add right click zone information. Click add, and then double click the zone, and then change the name to analog analog zone okay right close that it saves automatically so you've got your two zones so let's create a digital uh, a digital contact because you you have to put the digital contact number into the, the this list here because this is the groups that you'll be using so let's say contact name one number will be tg91 but you the call id which is the most important part is that the number of that group is 91. Okay, add one more. Let's add uh, TG9. And then the number of that group is 9. Enter that. Add. So you've, got, you've now created two groups, and these are for only digital contacts. So let's close that. So now you have to create channels and put them into your two groups. So let's create, firstly, a digital channel. So double click channel the first one will always will come up straight away when you double click it the channel window comes up this channel is going to be called TG91 okay and let's say your hotspot is on this frequency here it probably isn't but let's just say it's on 4000 to save me having to type it all in so there's your hotspot yeah and um, all you need to do here is select digital uh, you don't need any CTS and all that because that's for your analog channel so that will save so save that, okay? And then let's let's do let's to add one more digital. We will go right click on channel, add, double click that, and then this will be uh, I think we call it TG9, TG9, and it's digital. Oh yeah, the thing I forgot to add was when you create a digital channel, you have to select um, the color code which you'll get from the repeater keeper so let's just say it's three and the slot let's say it's slot two the reason there are two slots is the channel is cut in half so more people can use the channel the color code three look at that as ctcss it's the same thing right but we do need to add, select the contact name on each channel so this one is i've called it tg9 we need to select tg9 and that is very important that you do that so let's close that one down go back to the other channel 91 and we need to select the uh contact name see look so this one's 91 nine it's very important that you do that or it won't work uh, the group list is up to you if you want to add it to a group list uh, and then th again, let's do color code three, which again is like CTSSS, and then repeat slots one or two. Okay, so you've got that in. So let's go into analog. Let's create an analog channel. 
Um, let's have a go. So there's our two zones. At the moment, we haven't got an analog channel program. So go back to channel, right click, add. Let's call this one uh, GB, GB3WE. Okay? And look, analog. You can choose the power here. It's on high for now. Um, CTCSS, let's, put, let's set it to 94.8 on both. 94.8. Frequency is, let's say that's the frequency there, and then the transmit frequency is is uh, on, on that. But you know, whatever your local repeater is. So you've got your, all your analog set in there, as you can see. Let's just see what that says. Yeah, da, da, da. It's like basically it's M code is the one you actually want, is this one. You don't tend to need the, the D code one. Um, probably just set, yeah. It doesn't matter because it will still work. So that's an analog channel you've created. So you can rename it GB3WE. Done. And you, uh, I've already created it. <laughs> so um, let's create another one here. GB3WR. There you go, and it's analog, and you can select the CTOS encode, which is here. You can select your shift just by putting the input and the output frequency, and then just close. When you close the window on this system, it, it does say. So, right. So we've got analog and digital channels created. So then, what you want to do is go back to your uh, zone. So, in in the digital zone, you just want to add the the group channels. So look, we've added that. So that's on A band, and we might as well put it on B band as well. Add, add. That will appear on your radio when you send it to your radio. So close that, and then go to your analog section, and see the analog zone. So and then just add the analog ones into your A band and your B band. So it's up to you how you do this, but this is what you basically do. Okay. So now you're pretty much the radio is now programmed with two digital channels, two analog channels, and obviously you could have 200, it's up to you. Um, so that now you will just send this to your radio and then everything you've just done, you will, will be your own personalized radio. I, what I do is I add all the popular talk groups. I tend to use Brandmeister, but you know, it's up to you which server you use and what popular talk groups they have. And then I tend to add all my local repeaters within it, within, 30, 40 miles, and there's only about 10, and, and then the radio is so much easier to use. I hope this helps. M0FXB.